Just saying. Okay. Just, just saying. Okay, so... Do not do that when you go visit the zoo. I question is, are you ready? What's up, Crema de Nona? How are we doing out there today? So, today we're doing something a little bit different. This is one of those things that we've been talking about as far as trying to get some different exposure for some of our members and those that have supported us. And uh, we've got something pretty special for you today. Julio! How you doing? I'm doing good. Happy Crema de Nona Day, which is every day for us, but is the secret finally out? Well, not all the secrets, not but the secrets. this is one of the secrets. And that sound means that a secret is now being revealed. So we are going into some of these businesses and we've been telling you about that. And what we're trying to do is get a little different focus, get a little more personal with some of our businesses that we deal with. So that way you get a little better understanding of what actually goes on with some of the behind the scenes stuff and uh, understanding some of the products that are available that you don't necessarily understand just in talking. Uh, you can go to a website, but if you're like me, a lot of times you end up on a website and you see things, Navigating. you can read whatever it is, but you don't get that actual understanding of what's really going on what is this product gonna do for me how can this product help somebody i know and care for you know and with this one it could help somebody as far as uh do they have some recurring like little aches pains uh do they have anxiety and stuff like that but i'm not the one that's going to tell you about that we have connie connie hey, hey. how are you doing connie i'm Con doing great and connie's company is nona oils and she's going to tell you a little bit about the various things that we have out here today. And we'll be showing you some of these pictures as, as we go through everything as well. So that way you know exactly what it is when you go to get one from her. So how did Nona Oils get started, Connie? Nona Oils got started um, when I went to become a health coach. And I learned about all of the health benefits of CBD. And... Then I actually ended up helping a friend of mine's husband who had a high PSA number and I got him on CBD and his number started going down and he's currently still using it to keep him down, but he's doing great. Number and what, what is a PSA? Prostate cancer. Oh. oh. Okay, so it's not a public service announcement. No. Yeah, it's not what I was out. God no. bless him. So, so that that's... Pretty incredible, so you were able to help him get through that. Yep, changed his diet, of course, because cancer loves sugar, so I changed that, um, but got him on the CBD. And we know that it was a CBD that worked because he stopped taking it for a while, and she called me frantically because she went back, they went back to the doctor and had it tested again, and its numbers started to go back up. And she called me, she had stopped using it, and this is when I had already gotten into CBD. And so she was like, you got to send me more, you got to send me more. And I'm like, what? What happened? And she told me that the numbers started going up and the only thing they changed was he had stopped using the CBD. Wow. So he's back on it. Yeah, so you think about some of the things you may not understand. And uh, another thing is people think you take a couple drops of this and you're going to clean out your fridge and uh, <laughs> sit down and be stuck watching a movie for the rest of the afternoon. But this doesn't work that way. Did it? So CBD is not... THC. No, it has, it has, well, most of it has a trace amount of THC, just enough to help, but not enough for you to get a high. Enough for it to change your mood, because it does, if you have anxiety, it's going to change that. It's going to stop your anxiety. If you're depressed, it might help you with that as well. So, but it's not going to make you high. And it's yeah. a legal amount that even if you got tested, you would still pass the test? Is that? Not necessarily. Not necessarily? It depends on the test. It, and we never know what kind of test they're going to use. Okay. So if somebody is in a position that they are tested, 
I never suggest them use it because you don't know and I'm not making money on somebody that um, that may lose their job so I have a broad spectrum that has no THC so they can use that so thanks for that clarification because there's a lot of misconception on yes you can still get tested my product is still going out there so mm -hmm. it's no wonder you started Nona oil uh, right. based on what you because this is your company is yes. that correct yep and that is that is another reason why I did it because there was so much stuff that is being said that wasn't true mm -hmm. and I just I, I want a company with integrity and, and that seems to come up a whole hell of a lot on Crema, doesn't it? It does. Where a, a lot of the companies that we deal with, and, and what's the thing we always tell you, we want to we want to work with good businesses, with good people. Reputable. That are doing good things. Yeah. So uh, even on my company, uh, RPH Strategies, I got started on the sales training end of it just because of there's, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been to a training day and I'm listening to someone like Tony Robbins or Dave Ramsey which has absolutely nothing to do with sales and not to knock anything against them Dave Ramsey is great if you want to get your finances in order and go down that path yeah and we've got guys throughout our network that we can connect you with that will do exactly that for you and well, it's, Tony, it's like it's like we're vetting some of these people because you know we get to know who they are and we get to see how they react with people when we were out there doing this in person, you know, um, but it's almost like when they're vetted, you know? Yeah, you, you know what you're dealing with. And what I was going to say on the Tony Robbins thing, I think it's great what he does. Some people need some motivation in their life, but motivation is only a small part of what you need to take one step outside the door. What do you do when you actually sit down with somebody? And that's where the difference comes in between your motivation, your financial and all, all that other stuff. But yeah. uh, I love hearing that. And I, I think that's absolutely awesome that, and, and you guys, when you go to the local drugstore or Walmart or whatever other store it is, they all have CBD in there. Oh, but do they? Yeah. But is, is there any, it says it on the label, but is there any actual usable CBD inside there? And that's something you need to check and you need to understand before you say, oh, well, I could just get that. It's a few dollars cheaper. Well, why is uh, it? They just they just jumped on the phenomenon and everybody's CBD here, CBD there, you know, but there's no nothing like it when actually speaking to somebody that specializes in it. And how about, you know, meeting Connie here with Nona Oils, who actually owns her own company. So, I mean, you get in it from the, the source directly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the other thing, their CBD, it actually doesn't stand for the same thing. It stands for you can buy diluted. <laughs> that's so, okay. and so, that's true you know i went to um bed bath and beyond and they had cbd there and it was put it sold it with a bracelet so you would put the drops on the bracelet and that was supposed to help you and i'm like wait help you what smell better <laughs> i it, it was like an essential oil bracelet i was like what is this oh i think i've seen those at some music festivals but they use patchouli <laughs> instead of yes. cbd i think they, they got their oils mixed up yes <laughs> Yeah. Bit. So bit. now you're in 100% control of what goes into your oils as well, right. correct? Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about your process on that, on what you have, what your involvement with that? Without giving away all the secrets. Well, my process is really simple. I just go get in touch with the manufacturer and I tell them what I want and then they make it for me. That's it. And I leave the rest of that in their hands. Yeah. And But then I also have it third party tested so that I know that what's in it is supposed to be in it. Is that the, what they call COA? Yep. So COA. if you can explain a little bit what COA is, because if you might have heard COA, this is an actual explanation to what how COA works when you get something tested. So on my website, all of my COAs are, are listed there um, for every product that I have. There's nothing on my website that doesn't have a third party testing. A COA is just a certificate of analysis. So it's been sent to a lab some lab and they test it and they send it back and they let me know what's in it. So basically COA is a CYA. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, you have a proof of one that they, you can yeah. actually show what I it have, looks like? I have a few. So this would be, uh, this is a 750 milligram that's been tested 
and it, it shows you all of the cannabinoids that is in it, how much, how much CBD is in it, how much THC is in it. Um, and we'll, we'll, I'm going to have a picture up on this so you can see this here. Okay. So this one has 30.3 milligrams of, of uh, CBD in it. And the... Is that like a high number, a good number? Is that where it's supposed to be? It's supposed to be. That's where it's supposed to be. This is a 750, so it's 30 milligrams per dropper. I'm trying to find where the THC is. Now, as far as... So that one has 500. You said 500 or that was a 750? 750. 750. And I know you have the 500. Why would I take one as opposed to the other? Obviously, one's a little stronger and has a little more in it. Right. So the 500 that I have is broad spectrum. This one has no THC in it. So anybody that, like I said, is get has the job that gets tested, they would want to take that. They'd have to probably, depending on what they're dealing with and what they're taking it for, depends on how much they would use. But generally, um, this is like 15 milligrams per 20 drops or a dropper full. So the difference between the, the 1500 and the 750 I would I always advise people to start with the 750, depending on what their issues are, but to start with the 750 so you can play around with it because your body is different than my body. Your body is different. Everybody's than, different. Yes, yeah. everybody's different. And the amount that each person has to take is going to be different. Okay. So I start with the 750 and then you figure out how much you need and then you can t jump up to the 1500 and take less and it'll last you longer. And is that like across the board in regards to like if, like if you have a certain ailment, um, Connie, um, you're going to analyze, you analyze a person, you kind of like almost like interview them, find out what it is that they're, what they're looking for before you offer them a product? If they're talking to me, yes. I, I would love that. If, because, but I have people that just get on the website and just purchase and I don't know don't know them or what they're dealing with, so I can't help them. But I, I prefer to be able to help because I want it to work for them. A consultation. Right, yeah. a consultation. Yeah. Because a lot of people will take it, you know, get a bottle, they'll use the bottle, and they'll like, well, it didn't work for me. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you needed to do more, or maybe you needed to do it three times a day instead of twice a day, or maybe you needed to do it only once a day, you know, it, and you needed to take more. It, everybody's different. So that's why I, would, I love the consultation, the one-on-one, -on -one, and yeah. let me help you make it work for you. And real quick, tell everybody, how do we get a hold of you? How, how can we find you? So my website is nonaoils.com or you can call me. Or call me on my cell phone or text me 407-416-1115. And that gets you direct right direct. to her. That's right. Gonna, we're going to be able to provide that information for everybody to see. Yeah, well, we'll have the name the name and everything's going across on the bottom, okay. uh, but we are going to put all of that stuff into the chat so that way Perfect. We can uh, uh, find her there. And as we always tell you, I want to see your guy's name, the company you have, how to get a hold of you, and what it is that you do. Put that right down in the chat so that way other people, as they're looking at this, they can see what it is. And what's the worst that happens? You get an extra phone call and uh, an extra job just because you happen to Thank you watch something about CBD today. There you go. Yeah. So, so I'm going to, I'm a, I, I got questions for you. Okay. Because I see this product here, and this is actually uh, daily dog treats. Mm -hmm. So, what does this do for my cocoa? Well, well depending on the size of your cocoa, mm -hmm. it's little. Oh, well, what, ten, twelve yeah, pounds? Yeah. yeah. So then I would I would be giving her why maybe twice one twice a day because mm -hmm. it's ten milligrams of CBD in each one of those little treats. Okay. So twenty. 20 milligrams a day would probably be sufficient. It depends on if um, anxiety, because a lot of dogs have anxiety, separation anxiety, the noise, um, or pain. You know, they get older and they start having joint pain. So it'll help with that as well. Interesting. So it's just not just for humans. No. They can even <laughs> use the oil. The, the oil, the actual oils itself, yeah. like in their food or something like yeah, that? Yeah, my dog actually licks it off my hand. Oh, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> she loves it. What do you so? What do you? Which one would you give her? I mean, your dog. The seven fifty. The seven fifty. Yeah. Okay. The seven fifty, and I give her like five, ten drops. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, well, she doesn't have to worry about getting tested either, so that we're good. Nope. <laughs> and don't get confused, because you got these things, which you guys can kind of see on that. And, and gummies. These are the gummies. So make sure you don't take the dog one on accident. So, yeah, no, no. Yeah. But so how, talk those, to, how do those work? How do gummies work? So gummy, the, the, these gummies are 50 milligrams per gummy. Um, give or take, because the way these are made, they're, they're, the gummies are made and then they're thrown into a big vat with the, with the CBD and it's spun or mixed. So all the CBD attaches to the gummy itself. Um, and so what I, I suggest using these is just like a supplement. You wanna keep CBD in your system. So I see my bag laying around, I'm like, oh, I'll take one. And I walk away and take it, but mm -hmm. it's, it, 50 milligrams, 48, 50 milligrams per each one. And it's just to keep it in your system. And if you are worried, we have, she has them that is sugar free. So if you can't take sugar, you shouldn't really be taking sugar. You have the sugar free one. <laughs> exactly. uh, there is uh, one that is all organic. And are you a vegan? she's got one for you as well. So that way you don't have to worry about that. So uh, no matter who you are, there is a product here that may be able to help uh, whatever various ailments That's you may have. That's where that consultation comes in handy, man. I'm telling you, yeah. you know, it'd be nice because you know, you got a website, you're, you're branding it out there and somebody goes on there and orders it, but do they, do you have a contact information where somebody has a question they can, yeah, they can ask you and all that? Like, hey, you know, I'm thinking about doing the 750, but I, I have this whole stuff going on and, Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all on the website. Yeah, they can they call me, they can email me, they can, you know, whatever. Yeah. And what is this other one you have here? It's a, a hybrid. TKO. This is called Moon Rocks. It's a CBD hemp flower. Um, if you're familiar with what hash looks like or looks like, it kind of looks like that. It's the flower that's been pressed, rolled. It's rolled in... Um, the, uh, what is it called? It's called something and I can't remember right now because it's not my product. So okay. um, it's rolled in something that it, it makes it better. But if you have um, anxiety, oh my gosh, if you smoke, this is, this is going to help you like instantly because it's going into your lungs. So I can, I can attest that it does work. Because I, I don't remember what happened, uh, but I was like super, super anxious about, and I was just over the top. My husband came home and he's like, I'm trying to talk you down off of this. And I'm like, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> what you're saying is not working to me. So he like went in the office, pulled some of this out. We went out on the patio and I took a couple hits off of it and was like, okay, I'm good. Wow. I was just brought me right down. But yeah, that was a bad day. Yeah. And I know you, I know you said uh, just various things where you do feel that anxiety that this has helped you tremendously with yes, that. Yes, I have. Um, I have social anxiety. So mm. um, I usually take my CBD always when I'm going out because of that. So and it helps me. It does help. And then you met Robin Julio and at Grandma <laughs> and Mona. Julio. And it's come up before. What happens? Oh, you've never presented. We need to get your information out there to you everybody. You do it for me. No, you present for me. I'll yeah. just stand there next to you and I'll hold so, the product. She wanted to be Vanna White. Connie is another one that was, <laughs> guess what? You are coming up and you are <laughs> going to present. So we got her up. And yeah. she, even that, that that's when I, that why I remember that with yeah. you. You yeah. said I had to take an extra drop or two just because I had that extra anxiety of coming up, getting in front of the group. And for those of you that have never been to an actual uh, Crema de Nona when we were meeting, we have been known to get 50, 60 or more people over there. So uh, even people that do talk to people sometimes get some anxiety because you think of it, you look, and when you look out there, it is just a oh. sea of people. And if you go on our website, you look at some of the pictures that are on there, you'll see we've got, we had to move because we just couldn't fit into a location anymore. 
But again, that Thank goes you. back Thank to you, Graffiti Junction. <laughs> and that's all you guys. Yeah. People such as Connie. Connie's been yeah. with us pretty much since day one, day one through the whole thing. And and there are a number of you that have supported us and and we appreciate it. We love all you guys. And that's why you see us every week. Hell, we've we've been going uh through this whole Heineken thing. Um <laughs> God, it's been about just, three months now, isn't it? It is two and a half, three months now. I mean, it's been great. Thank you for your support. Yeah, and, and and you know, this is because you guys were still asking for it. Yeah, and we haven't uh, we haven't had to recycle anything. We've got new stuff every week, new stuff twice, twice a, week, a week, so that way we can we can stay up with the amount of people we have, and and we love you guys for it. And, and uh, honestly, this this makes myself and i'm sure julio's the same way but i feel great inside when we can bring someone and show them the products and show them the stuff that you guys do because again not everything gets out just by coming across a name or a website or a business card mm -hmm. and there's a lot more you can get out of it but thank you guys this is this is all all you yeah. it's because of you guys that we were able to do what we've been doing but it's, it's been great to see our business partners you know every week a uh, couple you know a week ago we saw willie and alex you know i mean talking about their cleaning business and all that so it was kind of like this is this is it's still working it still works i mean you know get about that on it and even so uh just the other day it, it, this was the best part i got a phone call from someone needed a contact Called that contact. Hey, I got this guy for you. What does he do? He does this. Oh, you know what? I've got one of my clients that needs that. Uh -huh. It turned out this was a big, yeah. I I need him. He, he needs me. me. And we all refer our business. Stuff I mean, went all over the place. So. Yeah. so yeah, definitely get your guys' information into the chat and let people know how to find you, how to get a hold of you. And we are here to support you. Uh, and if there's anything you ever need, like I said, you know, Julio and I, we've always got a guy, so we've got, or, or a lady, a gal, so, <laughs> so yeah, we, we've always got something for you guys. So, I gotta ask you this, so I see you've got these little things, and now Poplar Creek, you remember Poplar Creek up in Chicago? Uh, Chicago. We'd go there to see some concerts yeah. and Donna stuff Summers, like that. Santana, I've seen them all there, Poplar Creek. Yeah, so, this isn't a concert in a vial, is it? Mm, well, it could be. <laughs> oh, it could be. <laughs> what, what do we got on here? Now, this is uh, Sour Space Candy. Mm -hmm. So, what is that? So, we have two different ones. So, Sour Space Candy, and I wrote it down. Because this is a friend of mine. He has a farm in North Carolina. And so, this is from North Carolina, actually. And Sour, one of them, one of them, I obviously didn't write, bring it. Um, one is, there it is. This is it. Okay, so Sour Space Candy relieves stress and it's calming. So that's more like a nighttime thing. And this is um, Hawaiian Haze. That's uplifting, it's fruity, and citrusy. So it gives you super uh, focus. That's what uh, Sour Space. Uh, so you actually smoking those? Yeah, candy? these are, these are pre-rolled like yeah. joints, but legal, no, no THC. None. So again, you're not cheech and chonging on it. No. Nope. But it will help you will help take care you. of some of those ailments right. and uh, right. uh, get your. It basically, it just cleans out your head instead of changing your head, yeah. exactly. <laughs> altering your head. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what those are. Okay, that's pretty Please neat. Those. And, and I think I got some caffeine over here. So how does this oh. caffeine thing work on this end? And then you talked about at nighttime, so. Got another thing for at nighttime as well. So. Right. So these are giraffe nuts. Yes, they're giraffe nuts. And you have to suck on them. Just saying. Oh. Okay. Just, just saying. Okay, so. Do not do that when you go visit the zoo. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's hard to get all the way up there anyway. <laughs> this one is the for nighttime. This is like a, this is a really popular product that I have. Um, so uh, will that actually help you sleep? Yeah, it's not going to tone. put you to sleep. You're not going to, right? It's just going to mellow you down, and you'll you will sleep. Tony, so I was telling when you, we, we were, yeah. Uh, oh, you guys did connect. 
Well, she reached out and made the comment, hey, I got Yeah, because I know when we had food. Linda. Now, Linda had the tea, the organic tea that doesn't have any caffeine in it, which, get that, have a cup of that, and then do what you got to do with the giraffe nuts, and uh, yes, it'll knock you out. We won't say anything. Well, this is basically staying holistic, too, as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then this one has caffeine in it, so... What people use this one for is if you have a headache, you start feeling like you're going to get a headache, you have to do it when you feel it starting. You put it, you start, just get one in your mouth, your headache will go away. It won't, hmm. even, it won't even start. And you got some coffee there as well, but yours is a little different than what we saw the other day. Yeah, mine has CBD in it. So no. you can have your coffee, but it's not going to get you all you have your coffee and you see like too. Yes. coffee goes. So. <laughs> yes, no, it, it, the reason why it works is because it, it helps you with anxiety as well. It brings, it mellows you down, but it also is not going to give you the jitters. So with the CBD oh, and the wow. caffeine, first thing in the morning, a lot of people get the jitter, jittery feeling. Yeah. The, the CBD will mellow that right out. You spoke about that when you were drinking Pilona Bustelo, which is espresso coffee, so it's real strong. Exactly. Right? Yep. So this is different. Excellent. And I know we got a couple things left. So we d we have, that's a roll-on, correct? Yes, this is 1,125 milligrams of CBD. Um, it's a chiral strength roll-on. If you have muscle aches, joint pains, this works. Frozen shoulder, it works. Not to mention, how good does that feel if you've got a sore muscle and it's being rolled out um, as you're getting some medication on it? And I've got I got some friends that I, I know, whether it's uh, through the gym, and I've got a couple other friends that do uh, a bit of running and stuff like that, mm -hmm. where they stay physically active, and they have to put the CBD on, otherwise they can't keep up with their physical conditioning and it, it just right. goes to hell so and, and god we all know as we're getting older you gotta you gotta get some sort of activity in you otherwise get in bad shape real quick yeah. oh yeah i have i have people that use it on the bottom of their feet actually i use it on the bottom of my feet too because i have plantar fasciitis huh. and that um i'll just roll it on the bottom of my feet rub it in and Forget about my feet pain. Does that penetrate faster than regular balm? Than a regular balm, like, you know, like a... Yep. It works faster? Yep. Like it penetrates faster? It helps faster. with your inflammation from okay. the outside. So you can take the CBD that helps with the inflammation from the inside, and then you have the roll-on that helps it from the well, outside. Well, I think a lot of those balms are petroleum-based as well, which right. isn't always as good for you. Gotcha. Where this, you're just pretty right much in. getting the medication. So it's just straight medication with nothing in the way. Gotcha. Yeah. So, yeah. that's and one, one last product we got over there, what is, and that's become real popular. Recently. Yeah, yeah popular. so dealing with Heineken and stuff like that, this is something that could be used for just about every business out there. Uh, see her? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. And now, is there anything special about this sanitizer, or is it just regular sanitizer? Regular sanitizer. It's made with um, ethanol alcohol, and it is everything approved. Excellent. And you do that in conjunction with a gummy and you are sanitized, clean, and relaxed, ready to focus on the task that you have ahead of you. And you sell those in the size bottle that it is there or gallons? Is, oh, no, no. no gallons. No gallons, just that. in the size bottle. Yeah, gotcha. in the eight ounce size. Gotcha. What eight size ounce. was this one? That's eight, eight, eight ounces. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I could get gallons, but um, I don't want to get a pallet of gallons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although if it's something, maybe that's when you use that phone number, call her yeah. and uh, arrange what you need. And, and you can do any of these products specific to what they want to do, correct? Correct. So, hell, you want a gallon of this one here. No. You, no? No gallons? Gallon. You're, you're buying a whole bunch of those. No, you're buying a bunch. Just a sanitizer. <laughs> so, and just to let you know, the bottle of wine over there by Julio. That is not part of the products. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's for after we're done with this. We're going to have that and relax just a slight little bit. So looks like we're going to have one hell of a lazy afternoon yeah, today. Yeah, we're going to wind down afternoon, man. Yeah. Wine and CB down. That's it.
So I think that's pretty awesome. That pretty much wraps up about everything we've got here today. Connie, it was so awesome having you hang out with Thank us. You. Uh, love seeing the products, love seeing all this stuff. And there's we miss seeing stuff. you too. Yeah. I missed you guys. Yeah. I miss everyone. And you've obviously got a lot more since the last time that you presented. So that's awesome as well. So we, it's great to see that you're growing, you're adapting and just making things there, work out. There's that word again. Yeah. Adaptability, adapting yeah. to conditions. Yeah. yeah. So with that, I think we're just about out of time. Julio, you got anything to say? You want to say uh, goodbye to all the fine people out there? Yeah, see you guys later. I got to wind down, bro. <laughs> nice seeing you, man. Thanks for tuning in all the time. Tuesdays at 9, Fridays at 12. Good to see you guys. Please put your contact information there once, in, you know, at least once. Um, reach out to us if you would like to be a featured member. Um, we do have a lot of things coming up, so stay tuned. Keep continuing watching. Spread the word. Share our page, visit the website, and uh, subscribe to YouTube and see what else we're doing with Grandma and Nona. Yeah, get on there. And like I said, this is uh, uh, one of the pieces we've been talking about. We got some other things. And if it's something you would like to have a focus uh, for your company, let me know. I'd be happy to help you work out something as far as uh, I can stream pretty much anywhere you want to. You get a, a edited copy of it once it's all done, but something we've started up uh since this whole thing started up so thanks to rph strategies yes thank you yeah and then but love seeing you guys I, i'm so glad that you guys uh, have stuck with everything throughout and, and again, stuck with us and deal with us yeah dealing with us <laughs> but we are uh filling up our book again so contact us let us know how we can help your business if you have something that you want to see, a business that you want to know more about that you'd like us to highlight, I want to know about that. Send us something on that and we'll get in touch with it. Exactly. We're, we're open to about anything and everything at this point. And our um, main focus is on our members first, but we also want to know what do our members want to know. And we actually do follow up. I'm just saying. Yeah. We actually do follow up. It's not a thing about let me get some information and then no one ever gets you the information. We actually will get you the information. So we're reliable for that. Yeah, so we're here for you. We know you're here for us. We love you guys. Have a great rest of your Friday. Have a phenomenal weekend. And we will see you Tuesday 9 a.m. Have a good one. Thanks Thank again, you. Connie. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See ya!